All right, team, today I wanted to do a Salmon Plank 101 video, but I couldn't find any planks. And usually they're in your <laughs> grocery store. Uh, so I got to thinking, you know, and I, th I think I've seen it online actually as well. Why not use a pineapple shingle? So we'll cut a nice segment of pineapple here. A pineapple plank? A pineapple plank, right? So we're gonna use a pineapple plank, which is really cool, right? Cause you always think about the elderwood or the cedar or whatever kind of plank you have, adding a little bit of flavor. Well, certainly a pineapple will add flavor and it's gonna be kind of a functional edible garnish as well. So we've got our Kamado Joe Classic 2 stable Stabilizing, climbing at about 400 to 425. And team, as always, you know the drill. There's a hundred ways to light your fire, but the way I prefer to do it, go ahead and look in that firebox. If there's some old charcoal from a previous cook, knock that around a little bit, uh, get, the, get the ash off of it, and then incorporate that new charcoal. Go ahead and light your fire starter, sneak it into the bottom of the charcoal pile, and then surround it with charcoal so it can burn up. Make sure that ash drawer or draft door on the bottom is fully open so you have maximum airflow. And we're gonna let that burn for about 10 minutes then close the dome and allow it to come to temperature. So about our pineapple or our plank, uh, when you're at the grocery store, a great way to see if your pineapple is ripe and ready to go is to grab one of these fronds, I guess we could call it. Uh, and if you can pull it out easily, it's ripe. If you're sitting there yanking on it, no matter what the exterior color is, uh, because they can be brown and still not be ripe. So just pull on one of these guys. If it comes out with ease, you're ready to go. If it comes out way too easy, maybe look at a different one. You want just a little bit of a tug. We'll do that one more time for you. That's what I want to see. And we know we've got a great ripe pineapple. So let's go ahead and fabricate this baby. And I'm thinking we're going to start here in the middle. We could, we could start here, but I, I want to get two uh, planks here. So I'm going to start right in the middle with a sharp knife. And then we're just going to cut right down the center, trying to stay as flat as possible. Oh, and this is looking cool already. Beauty. Yeah. And then let's stand it up again. And we don't want to go too thin. Remember, this is a plank. So I'm looking at about, I don't know, Nathan, what is that? Three quarters of an inch, you think? Uh, I want to make sure I'm not going in an angle here because I don't want to wedge. So I want to make sure that I'm cutting a nice thin piece, but thick enough so it's not going to burn up. It's not a wedge. Oh, I'm digging this. And look at that. Instead of using a cedar wow. plank, we've got this gorgeous pineapple plank that's gonna impart a lot of flavor. Uh, and I'm thinking what we're gonna do, instead of telling you, let's go ahead and do it, okay? That's, I, always, I get so wrapped uh -huh. up, you know? All right, check it out. We're at 400 or just slightly above. That's 400 Fahrenheit. For those of you watching elsewhere in the world, we're at about 225 Celsius. And we've just got our standard grill grates in. Now, we could just put this straight on, but instead of doing that, let's go ahead and give this pineapple a little seasoning. Today, I've, I've chosen a Lane's Barbecue Sweet Heat. I think that's gonna go perfectly on this pineapple. So a little bit on both sides. And look at that, we're winning already. Doesn't that look delicious? So now I'm thinking, all right, whenever I'm doing a plank, I always grill the plank. I soak the plank and then I grill it and I flip the plank and then I put the salmon on top of that. So I'm gonna do the same thing. My presentation side for the pineapple is gonna go down first. Smells amazing. Man. Yeah, yeah, we're already winning. And I could even drop that grill grate down if we wanted to. Uh, we've got this gorgeous tailpiece here of Quarry Arctic Salmon. I've chosen a tailpiece because I like the thinness of this, okay? It tapers just a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a little of that sweet heat seasoning. And then we're just gonna put a dab of oil. And now we're gonna lay this presentation side down, do a drag test. If it doesn't stick, you're good to put it on the grill. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and season up that side. Now I can't help myself. Let's take a sneak peek at this pineapple. <laughs> little, little longer to go. In fact, we could probably drop this down, like I said, but let's take our time with it. I'm gonna close this dome now. And let's go ahead and make the glaze real quick. And the glaze can be whatever you want it to be. If you've got a pre-made teriyaki or you wanna make your own teriyaki, uh, I tend to go Asian with it. We're gonna go brown sugar, miso, the miso is just fermented soybean paste. It's going to give us this really fun fermented flavor and a little bit of viscosity. 
You can get this at your local grocery store or Asian market. Let's go for about two tablespoons today. A little bit of honey. Uh, the brown sugar is gonna bring a different sweet profile than the honey, right? There's almost a little molassesy flavor to there. And the honey brings a little floral note. So we're making a well-rounded well, well glaze here. Uh, then I'm gonna go in with some soy sauce. If you've got tamari, you can use that right on top there. Now sake by itself uh, is a fun ingredient, but once you cook it, it changes completely. Uh, so I want to bring that little acidic kind of alcoholic note to it. Think about you cooking with red wine in a braise. It's completely different than drinking it, uh, but it brings a really nice acidity and it's going to complement everything really well. All right, let's take a look. Notice how that salmon's starting to curl up a little bit. Perfect. It's starting to soften up, which is really nice. We're just gonna take our salmon here. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. And then I am gonna actually lower the grill grate so that we can get a little closer to our flame. So perhaps in the recipe uh, section, I will put maybe 500 degrees. This is good though, right? It's no rush. It's gonna be awesome. It's impressive looking. Yeah, it's really cool. Whoa. Oh, we're good. I was born to do this. There we go. And I'm using my little uh, grill tool instead of using a pair of tongs, you know? And I just wanna get it right over it. Now we're gonna cruise on with that, that little bit of that miso uh, sake that we made. We could put a little ginger in here too if we wanted. Oh yeah, do your thing. I mean, how easy is this? Is that right? quick? Yeah, it was that quick. And take another come here, come and look at this again. Look how stunning this is. Uh, but I want to reiterate: we grilled the presentation side of the pineapple and of the fish, and then flipped it over. So while that face of the pineapple was hot, that's when we flip the salmon right on top, put the glaze on there. Now we're going to shut this and capture some of that natural lump charcoal essence, so it's going to have that grill kissed flavor. Dang, just like that? Yeah, that's it. Come on. <laughs> uh, little tuxedo sesame seeds, black and white there. Food's always better with sound effects. I'll give that to you again. <laughs> Stunner. So some of the most fun and creative uh, dishes I've ever done have become, been born from lacking an ingredient, or in this case, a cedar plank, right? But then walking around and seeing that pineapple and saying, okay, this is gonna be fantastic. Uh, I think we've really hit a home run with the presentation and with eating with our eyes, right? We've got, th this right here just makes it for me. It's just so rustic, so fun, so playful. Uh, if you're not playing with your food, and I know we grew up saying, mm -hmm. don't jump on the coffee tables and don't play with your food, and then all, all of a sudden you're 30 years old and the, and the world's full of coffee tables. Well, jump on the coffee tables, okay? Uh, this is nothing more than fun, fun food. Let's go ahead and give it a bite. That is the perfect medium bite. so fun definitely get pineapple on that the miso sake is prevalent but the salmon just boom it's just it's just so fun when you grill this kind of salmon this quarry salmon the omega-3s and the and the fat everything just interacts with the flame and it just it makes your brain happy you know what i mean not not, not your taste buds your stomach your soul all that stuff but it just feels like you're feeding your brain like it's just saying thank you uh, speaking of saying thank you, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you enjoyed this video and this just fun, creative way of playing with food uh, and eating together, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, notification button, do all the things, leave a comment, uh, and tell us what you'd put in there a little bit different. Again, I think I'd throw ginger in there. Uh, but uh, folks, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling.